Hello everyone, Beats is a fancy back with another deck review. Uh, today we have the White Lions Tour Edition, yes, again. Because I got the second color variation of it, so I figured we'd go over it again quickly. Um, because I didn't even realize there was two colors until I saw them on David Wayne's website where you can still get them. This is the one I got originally. It's white on black. It's very nice. And I thought this was it. There's a black deck. That's all I was aware of. A black one and a red one. There's four versions though now. This black one actually turns out it's the reversed edition. This is the regular black edition. Black logos on white. So the front of the box has white lines, nicely embossed. And then the bottom plain cards may you say tour edition. Nice silver foil of the lion. It has classic lines on one side with the lion and split spade, all silver foil. On the other side, the United States Point Card Company. Top. Um, there is something under the seal. Maybe I'm just looking at a dirty seal. No, there's definitely four pits on there underneath the seal. I don't know if I saw that originally. The bottom says distributed by split spades, New York, New York. And in the back, which is traditionally the front of the box, is, uh, the back design, as you can see. Seal, stamp type seal with the spade pip. That's a very nice box. On the flap, you get silver foil lion. You can see, it's like the original white lions decks, as opposed to the black lions, which is similar but different. And this is the last white lions he is going to make. Although, I don't know, because I thought we had seen the last of the white lions about two years ago, and then these came out. So I don't know. Blaine has been using these during his first North American tour. And uh, apparently it is loaded with hidden features. I'm guessing he's referred to it being marked, supposedly. I wouldn't know. I couldn't really tell you because if it is marked, it's not very evident. And that's been the case with, you know, his White Lions decks and his Black Lions decks that are marked apparently, but it's really hard to see, and it's it's not like he's putting out a video saying this is how you read the markings or anything like that. There's no instructions on it. You have to figure it out yourself, and uh, I'm not that great with that. And I personally prefer a mark deck where you can actually see the markings, where you can see what it is pretty clearly, uh, pretty clearly, because that makes it a lot easier to use. Um... The top case, by the way, is a matte stock. And let's move on to the cards. Now that you haven't seen it before, because it's the same as my last review. This, by the way, is the, the black reversed. Black background with white logos. The one I got before. And this is the black deck, which we'll get to momentarily. You get an ad card, just like before, with the four pips, like I saw underneath the seal. And he split spade. And in the back it says at David Blaine. That's, that's a lot of white space. I, I'm sure they could have done something else with that. Next you get a card that says, is it real? And if you flip it over, it says magic. And then the other side, David Blaine. At David Blaine, stop David Blaine.com. More advertising. Which is fine. And this kind of reminds you of a card in one of his previous decks. Actually, I think it was the Joker's where it said one thing one way and you flip it over and it says Blaine. I don't remember what it says exactly. Um, the Joker is speaking of which, it's Blaine and a shadow with a sword stuck down his throat and it says at David Blaine on there. He's really trying to get you to follow him. So go follow him. You can follow me too. Um, I think it's in the description. This one doesn't say anything, but it's the same thing. And the backs on this one is a white background. Black on white. Like I said, it's apparently marked, but I couldn't tell you how. <laughs> the Ace of Spades is a little bit different than the Black Lions one. It's just a more standard, traditional looking pip, but very nice. And the court cards, um, I'll go, I'll show you them quickly. They are the, the standard Blaine court cards with the custom faces. Maybe that one, I'm not sure. A couple here that maybe aren't modified. There's Blaine himself. 
I think some are traditional and some are modified. And this one is holding a very distinct two of hearts. That doesn't look suspicious at all while performing. <laughs> I would just imagine if that happens. You're performing, the spectator chooses that card, and then you look at it and they're like, why is he holding a two of hearts? <laughs> Could be a little bit weird. And any number of cards are completely standard. USB-C. Um, again, it says that it's produced at the highest quality stock. So I'm just inclined to believe that means a B stock. And ooh, it's a little bit clumpy for some reason. There we go, that's better. A little bit clumpy. Um, I was noticing that the seconds deck, oh, Black Lion seconds deck almost handles better than this one. <laughs> and it was like half the price. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's like an Eric Finis or Magic Finis or whatever he's calling it. I don't know. He didn't specify the Finis, just that it's the high qual highest quality stock. Um, so we'll go with that. And I know that David Boyne's decks are, they're always good quality. He like watches them produce them and he's very meticulous about it, I'm sure. So you expect good things. So it's pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm going to say 8 out of 10, just like the Black Lion Seconds deck, and or maybe even 8.5, because it's not misaligned, or not as much. Um, but you know what, I'll say the same thing, because the other one was half the price, and they're still very usable, and just as good. There's nothing wrong with the Seconds of Distant deck, unless you are looking for very perfect borders. Um... So yeah, same thing. Uh, whatever I rated the last one, I don't remember. You can still get these, of course, at David Blaine's site. That was horrible. And um, comment, rate, subscribe. I'll can't do it, but I'll see you next time. I'll, I'll work on that move. It's just table is too slippery. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think.